Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Today we're gonna to be talking about protecting your investments. And by investments, I mean your expensive resin 3D printers. These things are quite the investment because some of them range all the way up into the thousands of dollars. And regardless if you're paying $150 or $1,000 to $2,000 for one of these machines, you wanna make sure that you're protecting the screens of your printers. A bit of a disclosure before we jump into the video, this video is being flagged as being sponsored by the folks over at Mach 5, the makers of the screen protectors that we're gonna be installing on the Anycubic Mono X and the Elgoo Mars 3. However, they're not directly paying me to make this video and haven't requested me to make this video. I'm just making it on my own. I've actually purchased these myself. I think I bought them last December and just haven't got to installing them yet, but they are Patreon supporters and it's a bit of a gray area here. So I'm just going ahead and marking it as a sponsored video, even though they're again, not directly asking or paying me to make them. So if you frequent any of the resin 3D printing Facebook groups, you've more than likely seen posts by folks mentioning, oh no, my FEP sheet broke and I've got cured resin all over my screen. What do I do? Well, in some cases, I've actually made a video on how you can use these plastic razor blades to try and scrape up the resin off the screen to salvage it. In some cases, you're gonna have to just entirely replace the screen. But this is where the folks over at Mach 5 come into play, where they've made screen protectors designed for your resin 3D printers and a variety of your resin 3D printers. Again, from the small ones to the really large ones. And like I mentioned today, we're gonna be installing these on the Elgu Mars 3, as well as the Anycubic Mono X, two of my favorite resin 3D printers. But what's great about this is for the Elgu Mars 3, this was, I think, $20, and you get two of the screen protectors for 20 bucks. For the Mono X, which is slightly larger, it's $25, and you get two of them as well. Same thing for the Elgu Saturn as well. And again, variety of options up there, even for printers like the Frozen Mega 8K or the Piopoli Phenom size resin 3D printers that you might not necessarily think that there's gonna be screen protectors out there, they've made them. Also, I've been the guy that has regretted not buying these and ruined my screens on, I think the Elgu Saturn and I had another Mono X that I just completely demolished. So let's take a look and see what's inside one of these packages here. So they're sealed, so I can just un break the seal here on the back. And inside the packaging, we have our two protective screens. We have some stickers here that are gonna help hold down the protectors. There was some cardboard in there to help keep the packaging nice and firm. And then there's your installation instructions here inside the baggie, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you have your installation instructions, you have some alcohol wipes, you have a plastic card that's gonna help you remove any bubbles from the installation process, and you have a little microfiber cloth. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is use the microfiber cloth and clean the screen. Uh, Thankfully, my screen's pretty clean here, but I wanna make sure that I don't have any sort of residue or dust on here before installing the screen protector. And I'm also gonna make sure to clean not just the screen, but the surrounding area that the screen protector is gonna lay down on. And on the screen protector, there's two adhesive sides to this uh, that you're gonna peel away. One is a red side, that's gonna go face down onto the actual screen to cover it. And then once that's down, we're gonna remove the other one. But what's great about these compared to just trying to throw down like an iPad or phone screen protector on your printer is that a lot of these, as you see here, this is the Mars 3, it's specifically cut to the grooves and the frame of this particular printer. So it's a perfect fit. I'm gonna peel this off and let's squeegee away. You can also use your finger to help try and move any of the air pockets or bubbles that you might have from installing the cover. So I've got a few air bubbles left here on the screen. I'm not too concerned about that. In general, I've printed with those before and have had zero issues with any of those little pockets or bubbles being on there. If you really wanted to, you could just try and redo this as best you can. But for me, this should work just fine. And then the next step is to re-level your bed before you start any printing. And now that we've completed the install on the Mars 3, I'm gonna just repeat it here on the Mono X. 
The Mono X version actually came with a really nice squeegee with a soft tip here that should make it a lot easier to install. Eight and a half hours later, and our prints are complete using the Mach 5 screen protectors on the Elgu Mars 3, as well as the Anycubic Mono X. And I've changed none of my resin 3D printer settings in order to work with these. Some people recommend upping the power wattage there on the Mono X. I haven't adjusted that at all. Some people mention uh, that they've had to adjust their exposure settings slightly. I, again, have not touched mine whatsoever, and the prints look fantastic. And here's our print cleaned and cured, and it was printed again on the Mars 3 and the Mono X using the Mach 5 screen protectors, and the print looks fantastic. This file is created by Chibi STL and is a fantastic print, lots of different options when it comes to actually printing this. I did the two part option and then just supported it and went off and printed it at the default scale on both of these machines. And when it comes to protecting the screens of your resin 3D printers, I highly, highly recommend that you install at least something. It doesn't necessarily have to be Mach 5. There are other options out there as well. This is the preferred option that I use just because it's so easy to install and they all are basically cut to the specific machines that I'm printing on and the price is pretty decent. If you're interested in more information about these, I'll have links down below to the Amazon listing as well as the Mach 5 site where you can check that out for yourself and see if your specific 3D printer is supported. I also want to say thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in my resin 3D printer settings that I use, you can find those as part of my Patreon. And if you have suggestions on what you like to use for protecting your resin 3D printer screens, let me know down below. Again, I'm a big fan of the Mach 5 just because of how easy it is to install. And if anything ever gets spilt on it, I can just easily pull it up and replace it. Hey, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.